Okay, so this is what I'm calling a historic occasion. I've read my first ever chiclet. Well, I seem it's chiclet. I mean, chiclet to me has always been like fat books aimed at women about friendship, uh, which is pretty much what this book is all about. I found it in my local charity shop for 50 pence and I just pulled it off the shelf and turned it round, I saw the word Brighton. Now I have an affinity with Brighton, I have an affinity with Brighton because I used to live there and I'm contemplating going back and the very back of the book says on the 744 train from Brighton to London and I figured if I did move back then that could well be my commuter train. This book is in fact about that commuter journey. It's a little bit like Sliding Doors, that film with Gwyneth Paltrow where she kind of gets on a tube um, and then it shows what would happen if she hadn't have got on that tube. It's all about fate and how people's lives are brought together. And I'm quite big on fate, so yeah, it had lots of ingredients that appealed to me. So what happens on the very first page, and this isn't a spoiler because it literally is at the very beginning, is that this woman is sitting on the train with her husband and he has a heart attack and dies. As you would expect when someone dies on a train, everything comes to a standstill. And no one can get to, no one can get to work, the train stops, everyone gets off, and there's thousands of people. Amongst those people is two other women, um, and bizarrely, those two women and the woman whose husband dies are kind of brought together through this experience, um, which kind of sounds a bit unnatural, but actually it's completely natural. And the reason I say that is because strangers find it really easy to talk about death. And I know this from experience, because when I talk to people who I don't know, who I've never met, but I talk to them about death, they're completely open. But I can't talk to my friends about it. And in this way, these women, who, you know, whose lives were completely separate, suddenly brought together through this one thing. Um, but I thought it was actually really believable. Um, so, in that sense, chiclet about death, that's kind of, yeah, that could happen. Um, it's a nice book, it's well paced, it's a bit on the big side, I don't like big books, it is on the big side, but um, we've got three people's lives here at stake, so you know, it talks about all these women, um, how they're brought together, them having to deal with stuff, death itself family, love, relationships, the lot. Um, it's an easy read, it's a pleasant read, it's well worth 50 pence. So if you do see it in a charity shop, I would give it a go. There's a cup of tea on the cover, and I assume this means grab a cup of tea on a rainy day and give this book a go. I suspect there's going to be a lot of rainy days this winter, so Keep this one in mind. Cool. And you know what? I reckon if I can handle this, I can handle more chiclets. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, more chiclet reviews on the way.